Eighth stage. Hi, death. Demon level full of death. Cool. I like the part where you're a weird Satan butthole level. That's encouraging. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Big bads. Oh, I just lost my score. I had a really big score and never got to see what the IQ was going to be. Oh well. I just want to beat the game. That's the priority. too late. Dang it. I was too late again. That also was a good thing to combo. And I just didn't. A lot to process at once. No! <laughs> Fuck you. Uh. Oh, this is hard. Alright. Just barely walked into like the corner of one, I think. God, the fact that it's even already moving before you even get to see what it looks like is terrifying. someone to work with. I have an escape at least now. I just need to very carefully not blow up any of the bad things that I don't want to blow up. <laughs> yes. Not really sure how to do this part better, honestly. Oh no! Okay, let's run away. Bad mistake. Oh, I had a, I, I had a mostly clear path there. Then I had to go in stupid. What is this music, though? Seriously, I'm so confused by the music in this game. It's just not what you'd think what this game would sound like at all. It's like a Spielberg movie just started playing all of a sudden. That's a bad one. At least it's the end of the wave, but you can- oh god. Stop. Stop making that sound. It keeps- it just keeps destroying more of them. Oh. This is like the freaking Monster Hunter soundtrack or something. This is weird. I should not have done that. I, I, can, I can undo it technically. Huh. Okay. The biggest difficulty of this entire game just comes from the fact that triangle, uh, that triangle. No! Okay, the timing doesn't help. Shit, we'll take it. The timing doesn't help in general. The fact that the game's happening in real time doesn't help. But, uh, the, the di most difficult part of the game is almost certainly the fact that the, uh, triangle activates every single green thing at once. Cause that's just, that's just, a, that's just death. <laughs> Although running around as a little dude doesn't help much. That's gonna chain a reaction. So I can't get rid of my current triangle right now. Alright. I can at least live, if nothing else. I guess. Got that going for me. Yep. More of, them, more of them are going to be falling off now, though. 
We're technically halfway through raid, but yeah, they're just, this is gonna kick me off, isn't it? Oh. No, technically not! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yep. I blew it up. Oh, God. Yeah. Yep. I imagine this is all created by the show me what you've got thing from Rick and Morty. With the way it just sh it just yells like oh god at you and stuff like that. A Q of five? Fuck you. This game's mean. Oh, I was so close. Look how full that meter is. This game's super mean. Eighth stage. I think I don't want it to go through. I think I want to keep it. Sometimes I intentionally blow up a triangle pointlessly because I don't want it to reach the next stage. Because if I have that triangle active, it's going to mess me up. I'm trying. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm trapped. Okay, that's something. But yeah, some of these are going off the ledge. This game's really hard. I recommend giving it a go if you have the opportunity, which I don't know how many opportunities there are because I don't think that any new copies of it really exist. You have to like probably find one on Amazon. I don't think they were like... I think this game's not available digitally, so you have to like, you know, Buy it the old-fashioned way, which is hard because it's old now. Oops, I let it roll one more time than I meant to. I meant to activate the X. One more. Yes. I'd like to think that I have some kind of plan, but really, it's just constant, like, instinct and reflex and reactions and hoping I can interpret the right, some kind of correct response out of any of this. Just trying to be as completionist as possible, because every single one that gets by counts as lost space. But I'm just trying to be super careful. Because I need to stop, I just desperately need to stop destroying the, uh, bla the black cubes. It's never on purpose, it's just, it's just the, the, uh, your greatest boon is your greatest threat. These damn green cubes and their AoE is so hard to judge in real time sometimes. Oh, we're at the end. Was that two perfects? No, the first one wasn't perfect, was it? Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of that. <laughs> Let it roll once. Got it. Terrifyingly. Chain that shit. Chain that shit. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, Got to live with that for a bit as it slowly meanders its way down the pile. I 
I really should have done this right side first. Shit. Yep, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that was a pretty bad call. Alright, this is not great. There we go. I can work with that. I actually made that work. I think I got it perfect. Yes! Yeah, that is a perfect. Holy crap. Oh, God. We're halfway there. Gotta hope for the best here. Alright, I'm deadening these as soon as they're clear, but um, that's, that's gonna be a bit... Uh. Got it? Good. No! No! No, 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 I was doing it, I was doing it! Take it back, let me have it. Oh my god, the consequences are not cool in this game, man. Like, that's not, that's unnecessary at some point, how bad the consequences are. Oh god. No! I hate you. I hate you, game. No, it's fine. It's, I don't hate you, I'm just very mad. <laughs> No, I just lost. After all those good rounds, I'm, I've totally lost. There's no way. Uh, there's just... the consequences are so severe in this game so quickly. It just doesn't seem like it should ever be that way. Uh. Open up that clearing so we can live. Oh boy. Not a whole lot of living gonna happen here. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, none of that's gonna get saved. It's all going off the ledge. Alright, we're almost there though. Cheer for me at the audience. I don't wanna hear, I wanna hear, I wanna hear some goddamn cheering. Like the audience in Smash Brothers. I'll feel it. If you don't cheer hard enough, I'm gonna lose. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be all your, your fault more than mine somehow, even though it's my brain that's doing all the bad. Oh, oh boy. That was almost a bad. I need to clear, open up the side path real quick. Okay, I'm mostly in the free right now. Yes. Ah! <gasps> Did I just be level 8 on like my second or third try or something? I, I'm free. I did it. That was so much easier than 7 for some reason. Maybe it was luck? Now what happens? Is our final boss? Does Andros come out? Final stage. Shit. There actually is a final level. Okay. Hi. How do you do, sir? Nice to meet you, too. Uh, my name's Keith. I'm terrified of you. If you could just be gentle, uh, please. Oh, wait, did I not get a triangle? I thought I had a triangle over there. I guess not. 
Wait, I did have a triangle over there. What? No, fuck you. What? You can't do this to me. Do you know who I am? I'm famous. Uh, this is fucked. They don't mark the triangles anymore. No. That's a war crime. It's right. Oh, they don't mark the triangle or the... No. No. You... <laughs> They don't mark the triangle or the square. <laughs> no! You have to memorize where they are? That's insane. I don't know where they are. I already lost it. It's gone now. Yay, I got a couple more. Oh, shit. Wait, is, there's no extra part? Oh, boy. Oh, it's shorter than normal, though. It's like a- it's like a gimmicky challenge level. Okay. I get you. There's no... There's no, like, usually there's blocks at the end that are all, that I have to beat after the current ones. And those are just gone now. Alright, so... They're right here. So on the next time it moves, it should be safe. Got it. Now go down two. Got it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get through here. Oh no. Alright, well, here's how I lose. Damn. Damn. Uh, it's so much harder when you can't see where they are. That's evil. <laughs> That's a really messed up final love challenge. Memorize them? It's on a grid, man. 23. Great. Man, I'm so smart. Oh, the final stage. We can do this. Final stage. It's just four levels, that's it. Four total. Like, I'll be under it. And over it. There we go. God, this is hard. At least I'm clear to live now. Uh huh. Okay. One more and I can blow it up. There we go. Oh boy. One, two. Yeah, it doesn't mark your blues or your greens. That's insane. Alright. So you just have to survive each wave. But you, it's not enough to just win, period. You also have to have enough life to not get knocked off the ledge. By this part. So it's... Under the black. Under the green, under the other green. There we go. Oh, it's the same challenge as last time where I don't know what to do about it. A black under the deck. Da -da -da. Oh shit, that's bad. Oh no, how bad did I just do? Oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm so fucked. How the fuck do you get through this part? There's only one way. No! It dropped me! I realized my only exit was to blow up a black one. That's my only chance. Because if it flooded, then you can just run past it. Uh... But it's maintaining my total life. IQ of two. I, this is just a mean scoring system. So the, uh, Final oh boy. Stage. The issue is that it's shorter than normal, and that that's happening. But like, ultimately, the amount of life you have is cumulative. Uh, every time I lose life, it's losing life for future attempts too. Shit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that either. Shit, I shouldn't have done that.
This point I'm just trying to maximize how many points I get. Or not, I mean, how many, how much life I don't lose. Ugh. I cleared a path, but it was not enough. So there's, there's a weird zigzag level where I need to clear a path. Oh, you can pause the game. Oh, wow, that's cheating. Let's do that. Camera one, camera two, three. What do those mean? Oh, fuck you. Big fuck you for that idea. How are these different from each other? Specifically three and one, how are they different? Okay, yeah, these are all bad. <laughs> None of them feel great necessarily, but they, uh... No... Oh shit, I fucked that up. And to clear the central path. I just need an exit. I just need an exit, man. Man, I just need an exit, man. Oh, shit. I'm doomed. Okay. Move one over. Oh, god, I'm fucked. Alright. That's the best I can do right now. Just kill it. Just kill it. Just kill it. Run! Oh, boy. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't... No. No, let me live. I want to live. I can't do that, it's gonna be cause bad to happen. It's gonna cause bad to happen. Good good language do you have. Make. Oh, this is all a dead end that goes towards the end the dead pit. Shit. <laughs> it's a dead end that goes to a dead pit. Good good word. Yes, exit. Oh, I should have waited one more before doing that. Come on, we're almost there. I'm running out of life, but maybe I can still make it work overall. Alright, let's try to maximize my score. That's not... That's all I can do. That's the only one. Oh, boy. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, no. I've fallen into a trap, haven't I? Am I gonna get out? Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. No. I live! Oh. I don't care what my score is. I live. You can't stop me. Oh god, stop. Please stop. <laughs> Oh my god. This game's really cool, I never want to play it again, it's really stressful. <laughs> this is like, you're one of the last five people in a battle royale, stressful. Where I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to be here anymore, I don't want to do this. <laughs> don't want to be in this headspace. This is probably somebody's zen game, and that person's insane. This is like somebody's existential horror, I feel like I could have a whole nightmare about this game. <laughs> Uh... Well, there we go. I finally played Intelligent Cube, a mystery game from my childhood that I just knew existed and was on the rim of my consciousness just bothering me, like, what is that game? And now I know. And now you know, because maybe you didn't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. It zooms over. That's a fun credits. That's a fun title enter. Er, er. Bajoop. Player. Keith. Hey, that's a... IQ 7. Fuck you. <laughs> that's the, it's like triumphant music. It's like, you have an IQ of 7. Fuck hard. Oh. I don't... The, I don't like that this game has IQ as a score. <laughs> it's just really fucked up. Alright, well that's a neat game. 
So I know what happens next, and I'm not. We're not doing that. Uh uh. So what happens is this this game unlocks additional difficulties over time, I believe. I think that's how it works, is that uh you unlock a, you unlock new characters. I played as who, like Elliot or something? And I guess as you unlock as you go forward you unlock more characters that they themselves have more different they can, each character is its own difficulty or something. Uh, I think this one's enough for me. I also don't know if I even unlocked a new thing. Uh, you might have to beat the game in one run to even unlock a new run or something. Or maybe just beating it all is enough. But that was a thing. This music's so happy. It really does feel like something I'd expect more from like a, a monster hunter than the cube existential puzzle game. Like, I don't know. When does this game come out? Let's check the CD case. Because I have a physical copy. First game I've played a physical copy of in a while. That's not true. I played a... Our Pokemon EV game is physical. 19... Wait, no, that's that's the... That's the re advertisement for, pa for Parappa the Rappa on the back cover. Which came out in 1997. This game might also be 1997, too. It's a game from SCEA. There's difficulty, there's difficulty rankings of 1 through 5. There's even a multiplayer mode. <sighs> Oh, okay. The two-player mode is an alternating turn-based match between two players. Each player has to clear each puzzle in with perfect, if not the other player has to face the same puzzle. The same puzzle continues to appear until either player clears it. As the puzzles are cleared, IQ marks are added to the points screen, and uh, when either player earns five, a winner's declared. Hmm. It actually has a, it's a weird little side thing. Two-player controls. The controls for the two-player game are the same as the one-player mode. Just a strange little comment in there, I think. Huh. And it just kicks me back. Oh yeah, 1997, it says right there. So it just kicks me right back out again. Well, there we have it. Intelligent Cube. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. I'll see you It has the- wait, it has an ESRB rating of kids to adults. Whoa. That... The ESRB rating- the ESRB had, used to have different rankings, apparently. It basically just means E for everyone, but they called it kids to adults. Anyway, see you next time. <laughs>